Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. So, you know all those dream booth videos that I've done previously that create those diffusers models and you want to use them in your automatic 1111 web UE because, well, that's much better. And you can't though, because they're not checkpoint files. Well, now you can. Yes, there is finally a script that will convert them so that you can run them in your automatic 1111 web UE and do all the fantastic things that you are used to. So if you're using this repository here, the diffusers one, the accelerated one with transformers and all that stuff, remember I've done videos on this already, so I'm just assuming here that you've already got this installed and running. The other option is you could be running it in the Colab. Now the Colab does this for you automatically already. So this has already been updated. So you scroll down here, and there, there it is. Convert weights to CKPT to use in web UEs like Automatic 1111. So you can just click on the little files thing there. Once it's finished training, you can download the checkpoint and stick it in your stable diffusion models directory as normal. Now, if you're running this locally, like I am, because, well, you know, it only takes 10 minutes on a 3090, then you'll want this gist here. So pop over to the gist, and if you click on the raw format, and then copy and paste everything into your favorite text editor, and then save it. I'm saving it in my examples dream booth directory, so in the same directory as all the other scripts, and I'm calling it convert to ckpt.py because I am excellent at names. I do love names. And then it is exceptionally simple to run. All you have to do is pass it the model path and the checkpoint path. So basically the input and the output. Now the input, if you have a look at launch.sure, that is the output directory here. So that's the model that gets produced by diffusers. That's the one that you want to pass into the model path. And then your checkpoint is basically going to be your stable diffusion web UE models, stable diffusion, then whatever you want to call your new checkpoint, assuming you're using automatic 1111 like I am. So let's just run that command now to show you exactly what it does. There we go, we've copy pasted it. So Python, convert to checkpoint, model path, there's the diffusers. So that's the one with the unit and the VAE and the tokenizer, you're just passing it, the parent directory there, and that is coming out into my stable diffusion web UE models, stable diffusion, and there it is, new checkpoint, 4.3 gig. Now, remember all those other stable diffusion and dream booth videos where I, I shrink the checkpoint? Yes, you can do exactly the same thing here. So over here in the Joe Penner dream booth stable diffusion, in the scripts directory, we've got the prune checkpoint.py, so exactly the same sort of thing, raw, copy pasta, save that in, and then you can just run that script and it literally takes one command there. So minus minus checkpoint. So let's run that. So, whoops, make sure we get the P at the beginning. So copy, faster, and then that will prune this checkpoint over here. So at the moment, we've got new dot checkpoint, and that was 4.3 gig, and then the new one there is 2.1 gig. So you can cut the size of that in half. Excellent, eh? So let's have a look at using these new models in the automatic 1111 web UE. This will take just a few seconds to start up. Obviously, you start your web UE, assuming you've got it installed, you have got it installed already, haven't it? Haven't you? Yes, just start it as you normally do, and then you will get it, and you can select your new checkpoint in the settings. So we're gonna pop into settings and have a look for our checkpoints. Now, if we scroll down here, there is a little pull down here. So I've got all the checkpoints there. So there we've got the new pruned checkpoint. So let's select that one. And then if you apply the settings, that will load your new weights. It won't take very long because it's only two gig. And then you can do all your normal stuff. So let's just show you another fancy new feature in the automatic 1111. You might have noticed that when you, uh, when you run these things, all the text appears down there. And you can also save it to a file as well. So if you copy and paste everything, into that little box at the top, and then press this button here, read generation parameters from prompt into user interface. That will fill in everything for you. So it sets the samplers, it will configure the scale, set your seed and all that sort of stuff, width and height, everything perfectly configured for you. So then when you press generate, it will do exactly as that prompt said, and you will get a lovely picture out. Now, of course here, I have used that as the token for me. So I'm putting me into a special picture. I'm going into this film here, looking like a cyborg with a classic film look. And it's just a little bit of the upper torso and face. 
and there I am now. I am in films. You can put yourself in films too. There's loads more links to click on as well. So let's show a couple of those links now for you to click on and learn even more things.